hey guys what's up so this is the second program of the pattern and we need to we need i mean we are going to learn a second pattern right so first pattern we have seen in the previous video like how do we write a program when a uh, number was getting incremented one one two one two three right here we will see how to write a repeated pattern program right so before starting with the program uh, you guys can read about me i come from mechanical background i have my facebook page and channel you guys can subscribe my channel and you will get all the code to my github locations and for any query you can you know mail me to this gmail address or you can ping me to my facebook page so now let me start with the second program where we have this pattern so how do we write a logic to to get this output right so first any program you get first analyze the program what we have we have 1 2 2 3 3 3 4 4 4 so I can see that when let's say i is equal to 1 it is printing 1 1 time when i is equal to 2 the data is printing 2 times when i is equal to 3 data is printing 3 times when i is equal to 4 data is printing 4 times when i is equal to 5 it will print 5 times when i is equal to 6 it will print 6 times when i7 it will print 7 times so first create a main method main control space bar right create a main method then what we can do we need to write a for loop in the for loop we will start int i is equal to 1 why 1 because output is starting from 1 then i less than is equal to 7 if you look at your last number is 7 okay then i plus plus right now if i will use only one for loop right i will not get this output why because let's say if i'll print i so i will print 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 it will not print i 1 then again 2 2 then again 3 times 3 right so if you try to understand the logic which means this for loop can work as external for loop and there should be some internal for loop right that should get direction from the external for loop so there should be one more internal for loop and the external for loop will provide direction so it should be j j start from 1 and i will tell you why j should start from 1 j let's say less than is equal to i y i and then j plus plus so why i wrote this logic how i came to know when i look at the pattern it clearly says that when j when i is 1 it should print only one time 1 when i is equal to 2 when i becomes 2 the data should get printed 2 times 2 and 2 right so i am writing internal for loop that internal for loop when i becomes 2 this will get executed 2 times when i becomes 3 this internal for loop will execute 3 times why 3 times because finally j depends on i if you look at here j depends on i so when i3 this internal for loop execute 3 times when i becomes 4 the internal for loop will execute 4 times why because j condition depends on i until and unless if j is less than is equal to i this internal for loop will work the moment j becomes more than i the internal for loop will not work right now I, we need to write one print statement do not write ln why do not write ln because after every data we need to have the new line but for first data we will not get any problem for second line we need to print two data and then we want third uh, new line again for third data we want three data and then we want a new line so here do not write ln because as we know that ln will add a new line here print i why i am printing i because when this loop will execute right as per our output when i becomes 2 it should print 2 times 2 2 right so when i becomes 2 this internal for loop will start j is equal to 1 j less than is equal to 2 means j is 1 less than is equal to 2 yes it will come inside then i should print 2 because i is 2 then again we want one more 2 again it will go here j now becomes 2 j less than is equal to 2 means 2 less than is equal to 2 yes j plus plus then again print i so this will print i uh, again between these two data we want a space 
so write a plus put a space this will give a space now after this internal for loop we want one new line why we want a new line right because one when, when i is one this loop will run only one time and after one we need to have a new line when i is two internal loop will run two times and then we need to have a new line so that is the reason once the internal for loop will break after that we want a new line we cannot write inside when we write inside what happens is we will never get data like this and i will show you by writing that okay so first let me run this program and see that what is the pattern of the output awesome we are getting the proper output now just to show you guys i'll i'll write here ln and i will comment this look at the output you will not get proper output right you will get line like this with a new so one two two so output is same output will not change but you are not getting in this pattern right so this also you should keep in the mind in the interview you need to print exactly the same pattern what interviewer is giving you okay four is printing four times but it is coming in the new new line right that is the reason we should not write ln here write only print and then once your internal for loop will get over print a new line and if you look at this you know we are getting very nice report right now if somebody will give you a star here somebody will give you dollar here somebody will give you some other data everything will work fine here same logic same logic now instead of putting i let's say if i put here a star right so instead of putting i if i put here a star right and if i put this into a double quote because as we know that a star uh, will be considered as a, a string right now if i run this program same thing right same program will work for a star also same program will work dollar also right so one program will work in the multiple ways so i hope i was clear and i hope that you guys able to understand understand this program right so thank you guys thank you for watching this please subscribe my channel and like my facebook page thank you once again